morning. It's another day, another adventure coming up. Nick and I are on our way south. Bye-bye, crocodile. You were awesome. In the wild crocodile. <laughs> is later alligator. In the wild crocodile. I haven't seen alligators, actually. Me neither. Ow. Ow. That's only about eight, nine feet. Ow. 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 And this other one Ow. was the same size. Ow. 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 Doesn't butter at all. He's just floating. Yeah, those legs are totally relaxed, just floating. Floating. Oh, let's amazing. get back to the car. Right, let's get back to the car and go. All right, Nick, they're in here. In the trees. You gotta look, look. look, come here. Squirrel. Come here. What's that? That's a Cuban night anole. That's another invasive species here in Florida. See it? With the white stripe on it? Shine the light a little lower. Yeah. Wow. That thing's pretty cool. But I don't see any chameleons. It looks like they've hunted them out. I haven't seen any iguanas either. See, see there's the Cuban. What's that? Big fishies. Mullet or I see the big fishies. Where? This way. Which way? Down that way. Oh, yeah. See the shiny lights in the back? Let's see if we can find this gate. I don't know. He's in the water. He's way up there. That's not so far. He's right up by those trees. There. Let's go. I'm trying to get him in. They are. Not anymore. No. All these kids come out and hunt them, and then they take them somewhere else and release them, so they have their own little private area where they can go catch them and sell them. Well, that's quite the business model. What? That's quite a business model. Deep in the bushes. No, they don't go deep in. At night they come out because they drink the dew off the leaves. That's true. But look how many trees are behind this there. Tree has got all those berries on it. Uh -huh. The only bugs go on that during the day. Look at those berries. The chameleons love to eat those bugs. See where the gator is.
fishies. I think he's somewhere here. I can see the grass floating up through the bottom. Look. There's a trail of bubbles. Yeah. He went through there. Swimming somewhere. Ow, ow. Like he's been going in and out right here. It looks like grass. a trail. He's been laying out. That's a big gator. Ow, ow. The trail stops right here. There's a mullet. Look at the light. Crazy fast. All right, no gator. Well, it's right over there somewhere. All right, let's go to the next place. What? I want to find chameleon. Well, that'll be hard. I don't even see any warning. Can you see it? It's above my light. Right there. See? Yep, that's it. Yep. Right, let's go to the car. It is. We'll see. I'm not gonna kill myself for that one. No. Nope. I try to get it. <laughs> All right. Let's go to the next place. We'll see something later. Nick, look. What's that? There's an iguana. Wow. It's the first iguana we've seen tonight. See it? Can you see it on the camera? He's awake. His eyes are wide open. I can't get down there to get him. No. If it was a chameleon, I'd go for it, but no, I'm not doing it from down there. No. Nope. We've seen. <laughs> that was cool. Let's see if we can find some other chameleons later. You gotta find the chameleon. Oh yeah. Who knows? There's water down there too. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right. Let's continue our journey. Go. 
Nick, come on, keep up. Easy on. I feel chameleon. The chameleon. Open this bag. I have the bag. See it? Uh, I see it. I don't know if our... there's a veiled chameleon right there. Viewers see it. There he is. Look at that. That's a veiled. That's a female. Oh, cool. Open one of those bags. I have three things in my hand. Oh. Well, give me a bag. One. Oh yeah, they'll bite you. They'll bite you. Most probably. I'm looking for more. If there's one, there should be more. There's a lot more through here. We'll find more. We just gotta find them. They're on the pine trees too. On the Christmas trees. On the Christmas trees. See, it's like Christmas morning. It's like it? presents. Presents on the trees. They're not under the trees, they're on the trees, Nick. I know, I know. This is so cool. I'm lost. Nick, I'm lost. <laughs> Alright, I'm not lost. Just look through and see if you see them. You saw how that one looked wow. on the tree. Stick out like that. Babies are harder to see, so babies are lower at the ground normally. Oh, lower. That's a baby. But if the baby looks like that, see that leaf? Uh huh. It'll look like that. several different angles and there'll be babies on grass like this uh -huh. they like to go up on that too. and babies could be out here Nick like in this you're making it even harder yeah it's it's harder but babies are hard to find for it. In the grass. Just gotta scan it and look. And when you find one baby, there's gonna be a bunch of them around it. Uh -huh. It's hard, guys. Robbie's already somewhere over there. Now you're stuck with me. But we'll find one. I bet there's more in the pine trees, but they're going to be hard to find. So thick in that.
I found one. You found one? There it is. That's a baby. Put it in your bag. Got co. Good job, Nick. Do you want me to grab them or you want to catch them? No, you can catch them. But I, I'm, uh, I don't have any hands free. I already have the camera. Can you find it? Okay, close you the keep bag. keep the bag? You want me to keep the bag? Stripe ones, little ones. Yes, please. There's gonna be more this size around. It's just a matter of finding them. So. You see one? No. But before people start asking, those chameleons actually come from Africa. They come from Yemen. From Ye oh, that's actually Asia already. The Middle East, they come from Yemen. Yemen, or however you want to call it. And they're actually invasive to the state of Florida, where they can survive and, as you see, reproduce. So by catching them, You might help the ecosystem a little bit. Well, they actually don't hurt the ecosystem. All they do is eat bugs. That's true. They only eat bugs and they eat the mosquitoes, which is great for us because we've just been stabbed to death. But still. So look around, we'll see. Ooh, it's actually much nicer footage. It's only that the loom cube isn't charged as much, so we couldn't film much with this light. It actually works pretty good. Works really good, actually. Crystal clear footage. Let's see, is there any more? More grasshoppers. It's actually easier, because everywhere I want light, you'll see it as well. Hmm. This is hard. Robbie, where are you at? Why? Oh, there you are. Oh, I don't know if I can get this next. Hold on. I might be able to. I found one. I'll be right behind you. Look what I caught. Buggers. Ooh. A basiliscus. Basiliscus. Basiliscus lineatus, I guess. You want to hold that one? Wait. I only have two bags with me. I need to get... You want to take that as well? Yeah, we'll keep him. He's cool. You want to grab him? Just yeah. hold on to him. You, you, I've got a basiliscus. Ah, the nails are sharp. No. It's a basiliscus from me. Well, I've tw South America. I've 20 minutes. Ah, his nails are sharp. Yeah, the nails are sharp on him. 
I have him the wrong way. And I have 20 minutes, 15 minutes left on my battery charge. So, we Nick, if you want to head back over there towards the car so the battery doesn't die on you, go ahead. And I'll see what I can find. I'll make my way out slow. Where, are there more snake bags in the car? Yeah. All right, are there... You want the keys? That, yeah, that would come in handy. And put some in my pocket. Look at this. Don't drop the key. I'll put them in the downside pocket. They won't drop. And then close the button. Let's see, I've still got a few minutes left. Could make another 10 here. Yep. Yep, it snapped. Alright, go put him. The, there's a bag in the back seat of my. I know. Right behind my seat. I'm just looking. Tell you in a minute, Nick, if I caught any more. All right. We search for about five more minutes and then I'll head back to the car, guys. Ah, breakers. Breakers. These last bushes. Nick, you might want to walk out there so you don't go through water. I know. I'm just looking in these last few bushes. And then I'll uh, head back out. Before your light runs out, go. I have 20 minutes left. It says 20. Got another one, Nick. Another Basiliscus? Yep. Well, you might need to put the two chameleons together then. Got another Basilisk. Because I am running out of hands. I got an idea. Let's show it. Hold him one second. Where did you put uh, the other one? In my hand. But it's a male. That's a male. That's a female. Yep. See the difference? Nice big Ooh. crest on him and a small crest on that one. What do I need to do? Uh, you got to hold this one. All right. Got him. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Let me get some branches. Which one did I put the small one in? I believe the... This one. Green and yellow. Gonna put the branches in it. In this big bag. And then we'll put the chameleons together in here. Oop, don't fall over. Now, the chameleons are in this bag, and what we'll do, I'm 
So, make going, your way out. I'm going to stop filming here. Good luck on your last few minutes searching. All right. Look a bit to your right. There. No, that's a leaf. Look like a chameleon. And then we'll see you in a bit I'll in the car. See you up there. All right. Well, it's 2:30 in the morning. Time to head back to the hotel. I ended up getting another chameleon, so that's three chameleons, and what did we get? Two basilisks, Nick? Two basilisks. Two basilisks. Dang it, our lights ran out. This is terrible, because we could hunt these right now. Uh, Nick, you forgot the headlamp. Sir. Unfortunate. Oh Alright, let's get back to the hotel and I'll show you guys some chameleons. Alright guys, we're finally back at the hotel. We're going to check around this golf course, see if we can see any other lizards. Who knows? We might find something. Come on, Dick. Because you're a good tree climber, you told me. Well, trees, not like palm stakes. Well, there's huge trees right here. Yeah, but they're all palm stakes. Or somewhere. Those are hard to climb it. Unless we bring Limbani. Limbani might be able to climb. <laughs> He'll bring you lots of presents. No. Nothing. bunch of communions and let them go right here. It would be a nice place for chameleons. Much better than the construction site where we found them. Right? That was going to get destroyed anyways. And then they would be here for years. Because no one would know we set this place up. Yep. And this won't get destroyed, so be a better place for them to live. Yeah. These aren't really chameleon trees though. Frogs? Yeah, Cuban tree frogs are. Look at that one right there. Yeah. You see them? Those are those loud frogs you guys are hearing. There's another one right there.
think they'd be good in you? No. What? You don't think the chameleons would be good in you? How would they get up? Get up? Right there on that? I don't know. I've never seen them before in those trees. Let's walk back this way. I don't see any. Would be more suitable for iguanas. Oh, for iguanas it would be great, but we don't want to spread iguanas. No. Those little bushes might have them. Would be good, but there's not enough of them around, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. To go from bush to bush to bush. Exactly. They wouldn't do well. Not, I wouldn't spread really. Eat some more mosquitoes. Only the baby. Well. And probably not even mosquitoes because they don't eat at night. No, that's true. You know, they eat during the day. At night they're sleeping. The mosquitoes are only out at night. Yeah, we experienced that. Fishies. Fishies, fishies. Kind of no. Two big leaves. Yeah. Look at that Cuban tree frog hanging on there doing pull ups. Hang in there, baby. <laughs> You do not want to touch those and get their secretions all over your hands. How cool is that? That's cool. Look at that. Oh man. That is neat. Hold on, hold that light right there. I want to take a picture of that. Little guy hanging. That's good, that's good right there. You get one like that. I keep the light right there because I'm gonna do this. Watch this. Where else, Nick? I think there are only frogs here. I think there's only Cuban tree frogs here. But I did get a cool picture of one. Oh, yeah. Look at all those babies. Yep, guys, it is 
almost three in the morning and we're still filming. It just shows how much we love you guys. Oh my goodness. see any iguanas here. No. Nope. It's down here. Let's look at the water's edge see if there's anything over here. An alligator? An alligator? No, there's no alligators on the golf course. Would be fun though. What? Dude, how can you top what we already saw tonight? We saw American crocodiles in their natural mm. environment. No, nah, I don't think we can top that. That's a bucket list thing for Florida, and they're hard to find, actually. Yeah. Pretty elusive species. They are a very elusive species. You know what is in here that's an invasive species? What? Peacock bass. Peacock bass. Yeah, they're a South American bass. Another type of fishies. Is that a golf ball? That's a golf ball. <laughs> there there goes an Oscar. Another elusive, another invasive fish. Look at all that coral rock. That is cool. Well, I thought it was a massive eel. It was a plastic. Look at that, Look at that Nick. A garfish. Wow. It's a Florida gar. Whoa. He gone. Nope, there he is. He going now. There he goes. Right under that algae. 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 That's a weird word, isn't it? Algae. grabbed something. Did you see it? In his mouth he had the grass and he probably grabbed a frog we shined on. <laughs> That's what he was doing, sitting up there stalking that frog. There's two Oscars. Wow. I thought it was a mudfish. A bunch of duck feathers. It should be duck in here. All right. So. Let's go back to the room. Because we got to get to bed. Because we got a big day tomorrow. Yep. It's already late. It's late. My adrenaline now is dying because we haven't found anything. 
too. My adrenaline, every time we found something, kept pumping up. Ooh, spider web. Thank goodness there was nothing here to find because then I'd be going to hunt all night. Yeah, and then we'll be living off Cuban coffee. Living off Cuban coffee is not good. Try My wife would kick our butts because I'd be like, honey, we can't drive home. We were up all night. And we're flying. Day. Well. Any last words? Let's go inside and look what we caught. Let's go. All right, guys, we're back in the hotel room. Let's check out these chameleons we caught. Whoa. There's one right away. Look at that. That's a female. That's a sub-adult female. Oh, she looks like she might be full of eggs. Who knows? That's kind of cool. I'm going to set it right there. He doesn't want to go. He doesn't want to go there because the other one's there. Probably. Okay, walk on there. He won't walk on there. Just let him climb. Go on my back. There's the other one. Oh, a tiny one. This looks like a female. It does. Because that one goes back. But it has bands as well. Look at that mouth. It's gonna bite you. <sighs> that big female's trying to grab you. All right, we got the three chameleons, and then we got some basilisk. But I'm not gonna take out the basilisk now. Basilisk, we're gonna look just like old Mario's. All right. These are so cool. Come here, little. They're neat. All right, well, there you guys have it. You guys saw a lot of cool stuff tonight. You guys got to see Cotton Mouse out on the road. We showed you those. Then we showed you the coolest thing ever. It took us a while to find them, but you know what? Well, we found manatees too. We found sea potatoes. Sea potatoes. We found the manatees, and then we found my holy grail here in Florida, native, the American crocodile. I agree. A, Those are amazing. A native species in the wild, wild ones. So that was super cool. Um, we saw several of them, huh? Mm -hmm. And then we got chameleons, and we caught basilisk, and we even showed you guys iguanas and Cuban nightingales. So I think it was a plus night. It was. It was a really cool night. We had fun. But now it's time to go to bed because we got to get up and go to Mario's ZWF tomorrow. Oh, yeah. And that's going to be a lot of fun. You guys will enjoy that. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And then hit that notification bell. That way when we post new videos or we decide to do a pop-up live, you guys will get notified and you guys can check it out. I'm going to put the chameleons back in the bag, go to bed, and tomorrow's another adventure. So get swamped. Share your passion and random act of kindness. It goes a long way. Did you have fun tonight, Nick? Oh, it was so cool.
<laughs> do you do you have fun explaining everything to everyone? I was hours of talking about <laughs> chameleons and how they look like leaves. They're so cool. Well, there you have it. Good night, guys. <laughs>